Hello viewers and welcome to a new Gran Turismo 7 video, not a gold challenge, around the Nürburgring in the Master RX-8 Spirit R from 12th. We're gonna see if we can get the gold. Around the Nürburgring is the Grand Prix layout and um, let's see how it goes. Let's jump into it. If you're new to this channel, I would really appreciate if you will jump down and give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel. It's a great channel, I promise. I haven't driven this car ever before it feels very slidey but let's see how we handle it so I have no idea where my breaking point is Easy around here. Just trying to get a feel for for the car at the moment. Of course, I know how to drive this track quickly, but I am not sure how to do it in this specific car. But it's very wants to oversteer on the entry of the corners this is definitely not gonna be a goal right away I can promise you guys that but that is not the intention for our first lap here the intention is more finding out how the car feels and then try and shave bits of times off when we get a better understanding of how the car, the car um, handles, where to change the gears, where to brake, etc. And that's something I recommend everyone doing when doing time trials, is just to try and, yeah, just keep driving around, you know, don't restart right away, just try and continue doing laps and see where you can improve so you can see here the car it doesn't have an awful lot of grip we are on the sports or tires which doesn't make it better and you definitely don't want a short shift in this car. So that was 2, 27.7. Let's just go to the menu and see what the goal time is. Okay, the goal time is 2.24. So we need to shave off over 3.6 seconds, which is a lot. Um, but again, just get a feel of the car is important in the beginning and then um, then once you get the hang of the car you can try and shave off time here and there I must say I'm not a fan of these type of cars but I still think if you put in the work we can do it Closer to the curb there. That was nicer. Let's see if we can keep it even tighter here than we did before. Not ideal, but better. And don't slam the throttle like I just did and you will lose the rear end. Just try and slide it around here. It's like driving a big sofa keep the revs up it feels very lazy the car you know both the grip but also when changing gears 
Um, and my steering wheel is noisy as fuck. And my throttle is broken. So, very ideal. So there you can go full speed actually. I lifted before. And I really need to press the, the throttle very hard because my my setup here is um, yeah it's a bit broken at the moment the throttle I don't know if I have to try and disassemble my Logitech setup here and see if there's something I can change in there to make it not do that wow that was very late breaking that was okay so that's invalidated so if you hit that if you hit that cone you invalidate the lap that's also good to know because sometimes you can really throw the car through that chicane so normally I will take the chicane like this here and then I will actually hit it there but you see that invalidates the lap so we cannot do that what we need to do instead is throw it through the first corner like um, I'm gonna show you here we're gonna throw it like in here and then we're gonna try and get as close to the cone as we can like that so let's try that work against that I'm not sure I can do it first time it's not sure you can do it first time ever but let's try and get get used to doing that sorry because the more you do it, the more used you get to do that, and the more consistent you will do or be um, when when doing it. So you just have to push yourself to to do it, even though you might know um, that you will invalidate the lab or you would crash out. That's the good thing about sim racing; you can crash as many times as you want, at least in in these kind of games, because. You can just restart. It's not like in eye racing if you have to do qualifying or stuff like that. You can, um, you know, just press the car because it might it might break. They don't really break in Gran Turismo. You might get damage, which would limit your performance for an defined amount of time. But let's keep it in here. So definitely not get out of that corner in third gear. But you really need to you really need to get used to the car sliding around. That was all following on the front a little bit too early, but I still think this can be an improvement. And that's just full throttle. We could throw in the car a little bit earlier. Um, that would be more optimal. Here you just slide it in over this curb here. And then here you just tap the brake and you just let it roll. And that was not ideal but the idea is you let the car roll. And once you hit the apex you can get on the throttle. So this is definitely the hardest bit for me, it's the, it's the chicane. I think we break here. And... I definitely didn't do that right, and my webcam just went down, so I need to fix that. Alright, let's try and set, like, let's make a goal for ourselves. This lap has to be quicker than the one I've just set just needs to be that's the criteria of this lap that also happens for professional people that they have like a goal to achieve on the lap they're on so let's just try and do that ourselves okay using the grains using all of the riffs I just forgot to change gear that's the harsh, harsh truth. Pressing the throttle in the far 
Okay, so I need to change gear there. I was hoping I could rip it out. But I couldn't. Using the curb there. Then break at the beginning of the stones on the left. Let it slide. Now full throttle. Get in over the curb here, like that. And then remember to change gears. That is the lesson of this channel. Because this is not the first time I forget, but it's because I have to get I have to get used to talking and driving at the same time. I'll have a hard time concentrating, you know. When talking and driving. Which makes it a bit difficult to have a sim racing channel, but I just have to get used to that. Let's try and get over the curb here, like that. See how that goes. Now let's go up on the curb here, brake, let it roll in, one gear down, get on the throttle nice and early. I could have gone on the throttle a bit earlier there. So that's at 2.25.5. And now I've forgotten what the goal time was, but it's an improvement from our last time. So now we have the Ghost to race against, which is also something I really recommend you doing. I have my Ghost offset to um, 6 tenths in front, so I know when I catch up I am gonna be way quicker and that's invalidated damn it so let's begin a new lap shall we not ideal but let's just try and keep going and see if we can improve and remember to change the damn gears So here we break right after the one, the one fifth board. Get into the curb here. You can actually get a bit of extra rotation if you get the wheels over the curb there. Here you just lift, and let it roll in, and then get on the throttle. Don't go over the white line. That's the track limits. Here you also just let it roll. Get on the throttle. You can actually use, I think, yeah, you can go out of the track there. Let it roll in here again. Use a bit of the grass, why not? Nice. Not that it's improving our lap time at the moment, but... Again, full throttle, and then change gear, which I didn't do on the go. So you can see now we are re we are gaining a bit of time because I forgot to change gear before. Break and let it roll and get on the throttle here. Tap the brake, let it roll, let it roll. Get on the throttle like that. And now I get nervous because now I am on a much better lap because I've catched up with the ghost and now I have the chicane left. And I don't like that. Let's see if we can do something good here. I think I did better than the ghost. I just changed to or forgot to change the gear. It's better. It's a 124.6. I think it was a, oh sorry, 224. I think we had to do a 224.1 if I remember correctly. So we have 
We have at least six tenths to catch up. Six tenths. That means I have to catch up with the. Um, I have to catch up with the ghost. Now, that would be six tenths, and then a little bit in front. So all the way in there. I could have gone in a bit tighter than that would have been it. I went over the curb, damn. Yep, let me just drive into the wall. Crap, if I get the goal now, you have to subscribe. I've said it now. Congratulations, you do not have to subscribe to this piece of So if I get the goal now, you just have to like the video. If you're still here, I really understand if you aren't. Okay, let's try this time. That was just on a freaking limit. Turn! Slide it in here. That was much more smooth. Smooth operator. No. Concentrate, you look. Maybe do a late apex here instead. Don't know if that works. Didn't. Come on, drive. Drive, 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 drive. Slide it in all over the curve. Drive, 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 drive. Speed. Come on. I want to try and abuse the first curb here, like that, to keep the speed up. That was awful. So it looks like you do not even have to like the video. No, you don't. Well, if I get the goal now. Then just leave a comment saying I'm terrible at this game. I hit my microphone. No! I'm just gonna park here. Say hi to my mates. Who are apparently twins. Let's get this gold now. I love gold. It's my favorite color. Keep it nice and tight. Use the grass. Like I care. No. My webcam died. Trust me, I'm still here. I'm still here. Can you see me? That's what happens when you're too poor to buy. Set up. 
for your recordings. So, if you would like to support me, then please leave a like and subscribe on this video. At least you can see the in-game footage. Okay, that was not something I should have done. So I think I'm catching a little bit up with the ghost now. There, my grains is also just updated. So, that's still outside of the cola. Let me just fix that camera right there. I see you, bro. I see you. Alright. Let's get that gold now. I'm tired of waiting. I want gold. I want that gold, guys. I want that gold. I love gold. I li I'm like a small elf, small green elf around gold. I'm like, that's my jar. And I love it. Come on. Let's try and keep it very, very tight in this corner here. And then get on the front already now. See if we gain some time on that. It looks like it. It looks like I'm catching up. Which is nice. Let's slide in here. Okay, so the ghost was quicker there. I'm also very, very quick or, or close to the gold medal. I must say. So I think if I catch up with this ghost just a little bit, we are in for the gold medal. That was good. That was real good. Not that I did anything special there, but get all over the curb here. Nice. Now, do I then just send it or do I drive with a bit of Care, you know. Apparently, I just send it. No, I don't. And I forgot to change the gear. No. I'm an idiot. Apparently. Oh man, I missed out. I missed out on the gold there. Okay, I actually got it. I actually got it. I'm gonna call that it. I got the goal, and I could have made a massive improvement there. I, I'm pretty sure I could have gotten down into like the 23.7s, maybe 6, maybe 4s. We don't know. We got the goal, and that was the aim of this video. And you saw how awful my driving was in the beginning, and how it ended out. You know, I got the car more under control. In the start, it was just sliding around. I got it more under control. 
and you just have to get that feeling for for the car and uh, find out how it behaves when you do certain stuff and then once you get used to that you can start shaving off bits of time around the track so i hope you can find some inspiration in those words and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one and hold on go comment what you think about my new microphone stand it's a vacuum cleaner it's been your boy real racing project i'll see you in the next video take care and peace